call Hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, that's giving all praise to the Most High. In the name is only begotten the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida, and I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the whole full scattered abroad. In this video, I want to read this article. It comes from Tampa Bay Times, which we're down here in Florida. Okay. Brandon Westfield sells Brandon Mall for 220 million as it exits the U.S. Westfield sells Brandon Mall for 220 million as it exits the U.S. And as you see right here on the screen, that's the Brandon Mall. Okay, this is a huge building. I think they said it was one. What they said it was um. 1.5 million uh, square feet or something like that, man. It's a huge building, and they just sold it. Okay, they just sold it, which, which you know, could mean you know the loss of a lot of jobs, you know, a lot of businesses. You know, if this place just completely go dormant, you know, which ultimately, you know, on the spiritual side, because we always deal with the scriptures and prophecy. What do you think they're going to do with this building? And the times we're coming to. Where all these stores are shutting down, over 900 stores this year, you know, what do you think they're going to do with this building? Okay, this building will be used as an internment camp, okay, at the uh, detention center, may 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 be the the you know a, a a a headquarters here in Florida, you know, and this was the, actually the last mall, you know, the last Westfield Mall in in uh, Florida. You know, they're pretty much, you know, get rid of them. But it's funny how they said how they went. They they, they, they leave in the U.S. OK, because this country is failing. This country is falling. All right. So let's read a little bit of this article. It says Westfield Brandon has a new owner. Uh, Uni Bell Rodamco Westfield announced Thursday it sold the Brandon shopping mall for two hundred and twenty million, according to media to a media release. North American Develop Group, a West Palm Beach based real estate firm, bought the mall as a Paris based Westfield aims to offload all its American retail property. So it was Paris based. OK, so the actual franchise of Westfield, which I didn't know, the actual franchise of Westfield is, um, you know, is based in Paris. So they was over here making money in the U.S., but now they're taking all their they're offloading all their American retail properties and all these companies are leaving America. OK, because because it is probably this place is going to fall. It says the company announced last year it was exiting the mall business in the U.S. So they're leaving the mall business in the U.S., man. OK, and this actually was a mall that I went to growing up, you know, I, um, after school, you know, in the summer, we spent a lot of time in this mall and, and, and it's huge, man. So imagine when they, you know, shut this place up and put some watchtowers on there, you know, and then now this mall becomes a damn prison, which I believe that's what they're going to do with it, man. There's new owners, you know, you, you don't know what they have in store, you know, and who, you know, financed them to uh, buy these malls, you know, which a lot of these stores are shutting down, you know, and they're leaving these, you know, Walmarts and, you know, these different places, you know, dormant for the most part until the time comes. Where they're going to be pop up internment camps, pop up FEMA camps, pop up, um, you know, uh, the detention centers, um, concentration camps. OK, <laughs> for lack of better words. All right. That's pretty much all the terms for it. All right. And that's probably what they're planning on doing with this. It says the mall was not only the last Westfield mall in the Tampa Bay area, but also in Florida. Westfield lost the Citrus Park Town Center and Countryside Mall to bankruptcy in 2020. So they losing money. You know, this place is crashing. America's through. So there ain't going to be no more shopping. Ain't going to be no more, you know, going out and buying. And, you know, because the, the mall is where families go to spend time together to, to, to spend some money. You get some money, you go up there. All that, all, all that's going to be done, man. All that's over with. America's coming into a very, 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 very shitty, you know, time, man. You know, which is a great time for us because it means the beginning of our salvation. Okay, as America falls, our salvation rises. 
Okay. So let's grab a few scriptures. Um, let me read a little bit more of this actually. It says the sale of the 1.5 million square foot mall had a 10% yield for yes. Well, that, well, that's pretty much the point. Now they're going to go into all the numbers or whatever. You know, what they made and what they lost, which we don't really care about that. You know, all we care about is that the fact that the Lord is shutting this place down, man. Okay, the Lord is shutting this place down. And for this mall to get shut down, you know, or, you know, bought, you know, which would more than likely lead to having been shut down, man. You know, and these and these and these government, you know, these governments are going to buy out these um, infrastructures, you know, and use them for their purpose, which is going to be, you know, um, internment camps and for people to take that karagma. OK, that you read about in, in Revelation 3 and um, 13. OK, and on down, you know, the Lord is let me select you. Let me grab it. Let me grab it. Because, hey, the, the uh, Lord is 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 about to show this whole world. You know that, that he is real and you're gonna know through his word through his prophecies man the lord said um his word shall be made known unto them let me grab this first this is ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 3 in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few and those that look out the windows be darkened so in the days when the keepers of the house shall tremble okay these um you know these people that you know be you know tracking the stocks you know track tracking the, you know the, the the economy you know the finances in america you know people that be on the stock market and stuff it says they're trembling because they're seeing this place you know falling they're seeing everything you know going to shambles it says the strong men shall bow themselves and they bow the fuck out of america man okay they're getting the hell out of here these people know you know that this place is through okay all the money that to be made here in america has been made and now they're out it says, and the grinders cease because they are few. So the grinders, which means, you know, the, 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 the uh, workers, you know, they're going to cease, man. You know, because it's going to be so few that they ain't going to be able to do, do it. This place, going to just, it's, this place is coming into a great collapse, okay, uh, even greater depression, okay. And when them buying this, this, this mall, if they decide to let it go to shit, imagine all those jobs that's lost, man. How many people now are going to have trouble paying their bills and paying their, their rent? You know, it's a domino effect. It says, um, and those that look out the windows be darkened because the future of this place is looking very bleak. It's looking very bleak. And that's why, you know, these are all these companies, you know, the, the, these, you know, um, in, international companies that, that are here in America, they're leaving America. Okay. Even the companies in America and from America are leaving America. Okay. And going elsewhere. It says, and the door shall be shut in the streets. When the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. You see, so and when the doors, at the doors, it's like yeah, and the doors shall be shut in the streets. So you might try to run up to, to this mall that day, you're going to see it boarded up, shut up, you know. And all these different stores and infrastructure is going to be shut up and closed up because this place is, is falling. It's crashing. It's going down. Okay. And in that, there's going to be chaos. There's going to be riots. There's going to be people losing their shit. And they're going to send in martial law. They're going to send in these troops. You know, they got, they got the UN troops already here. You know, they're going to start rounding people up, taking you out of your houses because you can't pay. You couldn't pay your rent anyways. Taking you, kicking you out of your houses and putting you into FEMA camps. And a major FEMA camp is more than likely going to be here. You know, just, just you know, speaking as a man, you know, through the spirit. I believe, you know, that they, 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 you know, they're going to use all these buildings. But when you see these major buildings right here, man, you know, this is going to be a hub. Okay, where they take you to get all your, you know, it says, and it's right in the middle. It's right in the middle of Florida down there, man. It's right in the middle of Florida. So, you know, who knows, man? It says, and the doors shall be shut in the streets and the sound of grinding is low because it's going to be, ain't going to be, ain't going to be no more work. Okay. Ain't going to be no more shopping. Ain't going to be no more none of that. It says, when the sound of the grinding is low and he rise up at the voice of the bird. And their, their daughters and music should be brought low. The people getting up, you know, trying to find work, you know. And um, instead of daughters and music be brought low, this place is, you know, ain't going to be no more, you know, cheerful music playing and everybody having a good time and people smiling. And you know, see, see them commercials, you know, motherfucker be, be, be uh, drinking a, 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 a damn Coca-Cola and hair blowing in the wind and everybody, you know, singing on the street and the music playing. That's going to, hey, that's over, bro. Now you're going to see people starving out in the middle of the street. You're going to see people, you know, 
you know, killing and stealing and raping and robbing and pillaging, man. Okay, get ready for the wild, wild west. It says, verse 5, also when they shall be afraid of uh, that which is high, the fears, the fear shall be in the way. And the almond tree shall flourish and the grasshopper shall be a burden and a uh, desire shall fail. People ain't going to do nothing, man. It's go and this place is going to be through, you know, this place is going to be through. It says, because man go up to his long home and the mourners go about the streets. You see, so it's hey, man. All these people that used to go, that, that, that you know, that be in a store that, you know, that work there or, or that's going there to shop that hey, these people are going to be losing their minds. They have no idea what's coming. Okay, they have no idea what's coming. Let me go here. Revelation 13. Shalakia. Yeah. Like I said, and, and and this might be the spot where everybody getting a handy dandy. Karagmas. Okay. It says Revelation chapter, thir th uh, chapter 13. Verse. Uh, let's start at verse um, 15. It's Revelation chapter 13 verse 15. It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed, which is that new world order. Okay, they, they, they want to bring in a new world order. Okay, a, to, a, a total totalitarian system government. Okay, where there is no, oh, I want to do this only. That's why they said you will eat the bugs. Okay, you will have nothing and be happy. They about to strip you of everything, man. You know, this is all according to the scripture. This is why they say you, in order to buy and sell, you're going to have to, you know, take this. It says, and he causeth all, both small and great. Oh, yeah, and he said, if you don't, you shall be killed. So they're going to have beheadings going on. People going to be getting beheaded in the streets, man. And we're making examples out of people, you know. And, we, 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 and once you see enough heads roll, you know, even the, 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 the bravest of the bravest and the smartest of the smartest are going to fold. You will need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to put a certain spirit on you, okay, to endure the time that we're about to come into, man, and to not, you know, take that karak, okay, the M to the O to the T to the B, okay, that um, technology they want to implant inside your body, okay, and they very well may, may be doing that here in this mall. You, you know, people used to go here to get their ears pierced. Now you're going to be going there to, 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 you know, to, amen, to get your hand pierced, man, you know. So it says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So if you don't want to get down with their new world order, they're seeking to put you to death. It says, and he calls us all. How did he call? He calls you because he, 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 he about to take everything away. Okay. They already destroying all the, you know, pro the food processing plants. They, you know, they're destroying everything, man. Okay. You can go down the line. Okay. So they're going to give you no choice but to come to them for these things that you need. And they're going to tell you, oh, well, you got to have this. Okay, this is why they're destroying all the farms. Bill Gates buying up all the farms. Did a video on that the other day. This guy owns goddamn 98% of all the farms in America. You see? So, so you know, and there's there's really going to be a famine. Okay. It says, um, and he calls us all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. So pretty much everybody. Okay, long story short. To receive a M-A-R-K or a Karagma in their right hand or in their forehead. We got to see it like that for the algorithm because they will take the video down just because we're going into this. This is how we know it's the truth. Okay. You know who, what the truth is when you can't speak about it. Okay. It says free and bond to receive a Karagma in their right hand or in their forehead. So they're going to be doing this, man. This is going to be real. It says that no man might buy or sell, which you ain't going to be, ain't going to be no more stores to buy and sell out of anyways. Okay, they should all the stores are shutting down. That's the whole point of it. They got 900 over 900 stores shutting down in America this year. Okay, who knows how many shut down last year? Okay, and over the damn demic. So, you know, and this company said, you know, this franchise that that has malls, they said that they, they you know, they, they had to shut two malls down here in Florida in 2020 because of bankruptcy, man. They went broke. All right. Which you know that showed you that this hey man this place is this place is through. It says, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the karagma, or the name of the B. And the number of his name. So you're not gonna be able to buy or sell, but you have to buy and sell in the society if you want to eat, if you want to drink, you want to, you know, drive a car, you want to have a house. You have to buy and sell. This isn't 
This isn't rocket science. Okay, guys be, you know, bullshitting because they done sold out. Oh, it's country. Just no, nigga. <laughs> you got to buy and sell. When you, when, you, when, when, when you get up and, you know, you name it, bro. You know, Jake buying and they selling a bunch. You know, Jake sellers, you know, Jake, you know, if you have their own stores and stuff, it, and you sell it. Or whether well, well, not, you don't have a store, say so you buying. You buying from a store. But you're going to have to have this technology inside you, man. And this is what they were about to push. Okay. Let me grab this. There's a Lord warning us of this, man. He told us the times that we were coming con into. This is um the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 10. It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Which, you know, yeah, these prisons we have now, they're, they, 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 they might end up getting shut down because you know, there ain't going to be no cops to run those prisons. So you're going to have a bunch of lunatics on the streets. But then they're going to have these new these new prisons called, you know, these FEMA camps, man. Where in these prisons, they, they're going to be doing, you know, mass executions and shit. And this is a perfect spot. Right here in this mall, man. You know, ma ma imagine they they snatch you up and bring you to this mall. You know, where you know where you got all these childhood uh, memories that you shopping at, where you got your ears pierced right there. You know, now listen, they telling you that you got to get you know your hand pierced. You know, if you want to eat, if you want to get these rations of bugs. It says, "Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, because we about to suffer a lot of shit, man." The scripture says, "Through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven." There ain't gonna be no cakewalk. You got false prophets out here telling you that they are deceiving you. Okay, they, we we about to go through hell and back just to get to the kingdom of heaven. Lord willing that we be that elect. It says, Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried. So some of us may even get cast into those camps, man. I had a you know, few a few dreams about being in those camps, man, and making escapes. So you know, it, it, well, all things Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all things are possible with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But this is a reality, man. It says. That ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days, which is a period of time. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Be thou faithful unto death, even if we have to die. Be faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life, man. Okay? The Lord said, be faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So, hey, all we got to do is, be, Scripture says, he that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. You know? So, as long as you endure unto the end or your end. You're going to be safe. Okay. So no matter how bad things look. You can't. You know. Fold. You don't want to just. Take that shit. Man. Which people, a lot of people are going to do it. Even people that claim to be in the truth. Even people that claim. Oh. Be a servant. Or a minister. You know. A general. You're going to see a lot of these guys. Fold up and bitch up. And we pray that we don't. Man. You know. We. we ain't like we already got it figured out. We praying that. We praying that we don't. Man. Verse 11. It says. He that hath an ear. Let him hear. What the spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. So if you overcome, listen, you don't, you know, fold and, you know, erode and give into that karagma, then you shall overcome that second death, which is, and you shall not be hurt of the second death, which is that thermonuclear fire. The first death, the Lord flooded the earth with water and only saved a people. Now he's about to flood this world, the current world that we're in right now, shit, America, with thermonuclear fire, okay? And we, we want to be saved out of that, man. We want to be saved out of that. Okay, not to mention the angels are coming too. They're going to be zapping people. So even if you try to run, an angel could come and zap you. And there's a new movie out. It's called World of Worlds something. I got to find it. But I saw one of the brothers put a clip, put, 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 put a clip above it. But it's like a newer version of World of, World of Worlds. And it was just showing these three-legged chariots, you know, walking around, you know, um... Zapping people, you know, pretty much zapping people, bro. And it was, you know, that's the time we're coming into, too. So, um, from there, I want to go here. This is Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. He says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. So, we coming into a time of great tempting, man. Okay, well, you're going to gonna tell you, hey, if you want to eat, and, 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 and they plate with you like that. During the first demic, now they're telling you that a, a even worse, you know, a even worse iris is coming. Okay, got to be careful with our words. But they're telling you that an even worse one is coming. 
And during the last one, they told you, oh, yeah, you're going to lose your job if you don't take it. Or you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna be able to eat. Yo, you, oh, 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 you know. A lot of people, you know, fold it. You know, they took it because they were, oh, I want to travel. I want to do this. I want to do that. You know, so how much more during the second round? In the second round, man, it's going to be serious. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. So with you, you, when you got this truth, the Lord gave it to you, he blessed you with it, you got to hold on to that, man. You know, hold on to the names and the spirit of Yahweh Bashi, you know, because the whole point of Esau and, 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 and this new world order is to get you to denounce Yahweh Bashi, you know, They're going to make everybody denounce their God and serve them as God. Okay, that's why they, that's why they will talk about a new a one world religion. They want you to denounce your God and serve them as God. Okay, so you know you you gotta you know remain firm in your whole you shy. Just behold, I come quickly. So even though we're gonna be going through straight hell, it's gonna be like oh shit, you know a lot of stuff going on. In the one you know in, in, for this period of time, the Lord said He come quickly, man. So when we least expect it, when you thinking that oh I'm about to die, no, it, was this you know is this ever gonna end? The Lord gonna crack the sky, man, and deliver us. It says, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Okay, so hold that. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to take your crown. And they're they're, they're going to try to, you know, drag you to one, one of these buildings, scare the hell out of you, and try to, you know, take your crown, man. Get you to denounce, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh All right. It says, him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my power, and he shall no more uh, go out. I will write upon him the name of my power. And the name of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my power, and I will write upon him my new name. So we're going to be, you know, made perfect, you know, coming down out of those ships, which is New Jerusalem, the people before us, a place coming out of those ships, and we're going to be changed, man, you know, with new bodies, you know, and we're going to conquer this world, you know, in the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Hashem, man, you know, Lord willing that we, we, we can be a part of that number. You know, that that can be saved, you know, that can be delivered, you know, when all this hell does, you know, come down because it's definitely about to come down. All right. It's definitely about to come down there. There, there is no there is no avoiding that. OK, this is Bible prophecy. There is no avoiding that. Let me grab this. I'm going to I'm going to make this too long. It says. um. This is, um, oh yeah, well, you got Re Revelation 12 and 12, it says, I haven't grabbed it in a while, but I'll quote it, um, how the devil shall come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So these devils know they got a short time, and they're going to move quick, you know, they're going to move quick, man, in the middle of the night, 4 o'clock in the morning, snatch you, you snatch you up out of your beds, and putting everybody into these camps, man. All they got, all they got, all they got to say is, oh, it's another, you know, virus, and we need to, uh, you know, take extra precautions. We need everybody to get screened and get, you know, tagged. You need to know your status at all times. Yeah, yeah, you're about to meet the devil. You're about to meet the devil. Second Ezra chapter 16. Everybody say, oh, why is not the devil? Okay, don't worry. You're about to meet the devil. Watch. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse uh, uh, 67. It says, behold, look. The Most High shall himself shall it is the judge fear him, leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. Which is what you got to do. You got to turn from your sins, your iniquities, you know, your offenses towards the Lord. You know, anything that you may be doing in this world, you know, to, to, to get monetary gain. If it's not over your how about you, you know, shy, you need to cut it off, man. You know, it don't matter. This, hey, this place is about to crash anyways, bro. You know, find a find a new gig. You know, but if you out here sinning. You know, or selling sin and promoting sin, you know, and you all will have your part in a lake of fire. It says, um, to meddle no more with, with them forever, so shall the Most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble, which we want to be delivered from all trouble. Okay, it's about to be famines, pestilences, you know, sword, people out here killing each other. It's going to be the Mad Max times out here, bro. You know, the Lord said He will deliver us from all of that. It says, for behold, look, the burning wrath of a great, he said, look, <laughs> the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. You got these nations about to pull, about to run down. 
they're angry and they're getting ready for war. It's being killed over. They got UN troops already amongst you, man. In the house next door, you may be a troop. I saw a picture the other day, a video the other day of somebody in uh, Ukraine, you know, and they had a damn Russian troop outside their house. Okay. Because Russia just took over a great por portion of Ukraine and pretty much won that war. So, you motherfuckers sitting in their house chilling, thinking everything cute. You know, oh yeah, Ukraine, Ukraine. And they say they open the window, you see a Russian troop in your front yard. <laughs> that's that's the times we're coming into. Okay. It says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is coming over you, and they shall take away certain of you. They're going to take you away and feed you, being idle, with things offered unto idols. So, they're going to, you know, take you to a idle place, a, a, a camp. In a prison, an internment center, a concentration camp, and they're gonna feed you with things offered unto idols, which is that karagma, man. They're gonna try to make you take that. They're gonna try to make you take that. They're gonna, they want you to denounce Yahabashim Yahushai and, you know, go into their idol. This idol, that's, that, that is that karagma, you know, that, that that's gonna be the new form of payment. That's gonna be your medical records. That's gonna be your ID. That's gonna be everything, man. Okay? That's gonna be everything in one. So they're gonna say, hey, you're gonna have to you you're gonna bow down to this idol. Or we're gonna kill you. That's the spirit they're coming in. It says, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. So those that just give in, you know, like, like the ones that gave in during the first demic and the people started, you know, dropping dead suddenly, you know, they was had in derision and you know, catching hell and you know, feeling crazy for taking for making that decision and you know, needing advice and it says and trotted underfoot it says for there shall be in every city and on every place and then the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the lord they coming for the elect men okay everybody else gonna go gonna, gonna, gonna give in but the elect ain't gonna give in so they're gonna have to come down and, and and you know come to war against us man the lord gonna be feeding us too so we ain't so we so we ain't we ain't, we ain't, we ain't you know lord when we be those of that elect we ain't we ain't gonna have no reason to, to go over there and take that shit we're going to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the Lord going to be taking care of us. You know, he'll give us man's richer power. So when Esau try to roll, hey, the Lord says he shall lift, shall lift up a standard. It says, For there shall be in every place in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. And they shall be like madmen, sparing none, still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So they about to be, you know, snatching people up, bro. Okay. It's about to get, it's about to get nasty out here. And this is what the prophets are warning you about, telling you to repent, telling you to truly, you know, turn from your ways and seek Yahweh Bashim Yahushai in truth and sincerity. For real, for real, because if not, your ass going to burn here, you know, or get, you know, shot up to death or raped to death or who knows, starved to death. Whatever it is, it's going to be to death. It says, you know, um, it should be like madmen sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. So they're going to be, you know, kicking in your door. Say, hey, you know, c come on out of here. Come on out of here. Going through your shit, taking all of your last bit of food, you know. And then casting you out of, out, of, out of your house. It says, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. So you're going to know who, who these men is because they ain't going to, they ain't going to fold. They ain't going to buckle up. You know, the Lord, I mean, off with that. And off with that. Because the Lord, you know, he, he has a remnant. He's only coming to save a remnant. He ain't coming to save all Israel. He only coming to save a remnant. And and a part of that remnant are going to be those that are not going to bow down to this damn devil, man. No matter what he come with. You know. Just like, you know, just like with, 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 with the app, you know, nobody, you know, they came, you know, talking crazy about it. And you had certain jacks that was like, I ain't taking that shit. No, no matter what, you know, you, 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 you could not convince them. Okay. Romans chapter 11, verse three, it says, and they, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars. And I am left alone and they seek my life. So this is, this, this is a predicament that, that we may be coming into very, very soon. They talking about running, running out of cash June first, which is in a month. I mean, it's like a couple weeks, a week, shit, a couple of days. <laughs> okay. They talking about there ain't gonna be no more money. They 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 they're about to just switch this system to digital. <laughs> so all the money you got ain't gonna be ain't gonna be nothing no more. All your drug money, all your drugs, all that's gonna come to nothing. 
you can't sell it now. <laughs> it says, um, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of my uh, of of the Most High unto me? I have reserved. It's okay. But what saith the answer of the Most High unto me? Question mark. I have reserved to myself seven thousand men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so, then at this present time. Also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. So the majority of people ain't going to make it, man. But only a remnant according to the election of grace. And Lord say he has, you know, that, that perfect great cluster that is not going to bow down to the image of Baal, man. Okay. That, and that's when you have to really live on your faith, man. Right now you can turn on your, your phone and play on the Internet and, and act cute and, you know, get behind a microphone and. You know, play games, but hey, man, this this shit about to get real. <laughs> this shit about to get real, all right. And if you ain't real, if you ain't for real, you hey, you about to get ate up, ate alive, man. Repent and seek your help by Shemar Shai, while he may be found. Shalom, Kwame Shirala, Ababa Ball.